My name is Ren. I'm a third grader in elementary school. I'm home! Both my mom and dad work from home every day, which seems to be a trend these days. But compared to other people working from home, mom and dad look busy handling calls. Hello? Mom? It's me. Yeah, Yosuke. I need to ask you a favor. Can you lend me some money? No, I borrowed some money from the company without telling them and... Yeah, I know. I swear I'll never do it again. Really? Oh, you're the person I can rely on most, Mom. Alright, I'll send over one of my juniors then. Just pass him the money, please. Yep, one million yen. Thanks. You got it? Yep, one million yen in the bank. Alright, that's my husband. Looks like we're having Wagyu tonight. Oh, did something good happen to you guys too? Actually, at school today... Huh? Keep your mouth shut. Stop getting excited by yourself. Nobody cares about what happened at your school today. But, but at school I... I told you to shut up. If you speak another word, I'm kicking you out. Oh, okay. They seem to be having a great time. But as soon as I start talking, they always get into a bad mood. Maybe I said something wrong again. Yakubi-san! Yakubi-san! Make that awful ramen again! Yeah, that exquisite bad taste is addictive, isn't it? Uh huh? What the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's just a joke. I just wanted to eat it again since it was so delicious! Oh, Yakubi-san, look! They're so pretty! Let's go talk to them! Huh? No, stop! Excuse me! You're really pretty! We like running as well! Would you like to run with us? Huh? Hitting on us? <laughs> Having a good time, guys? But it's a bit unfortunate. We're into boys that are about 10 years younger than you. Yeah, maybe third or fourth grade in elementary. Right? That slightly immature but still in development look and feel is so enticing! So, see ya. Oh man, Yakubi-san, we just got rejected! Looks like we were 10 years too old. All right, mom and dad are always angry with me, but today's a little different. <laughs> Would you look at that? I got full marks on the test. Mom and dad are gonna be so proud when they see this. Dad, mom, listen, listen, I... Huh, did I just hear someone say dad? ken Chan doesn't have kids and he's not even married yet. You're not ken Chan, are you? <sighs> <laughs> mom, dad. That's enough. We just missed 3 million yen all because of you! All you do is bother us all day long. Kids like that need to get in their underwear and go outside! I... 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 I'm sorry! If you're sorry, take everything off right now! Yes! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stay outside and think about it! Don't you come home, idiot! I'm sorry! <laughs> Today was supposed to be different, or so I thought. I mean, I guess it is different. I made them more angry than usual. Ten minutes later, it's cold. I can see my breath. My hands and feet are freezing. I can hardly feel them. I'm gonna die like this. Is there any way I can warm my body? Oh yeah, I'll run. I decided to run around the neighborhood. If my blood circulates, I should get warmer. But no matter how much I ran, I couldn't get warmer in just my underwear. Oh, ow! Ouch! Huh? What are you doing in that outfit? That must have hurt. Are you okay? Any scratches? <laughs> it's cold. Your body is as cold as ice. Wear this. Hmm. We might need to give him some body heat. What are you doing like this? Where's mom and dad? I bothered them while they were working, so they got angry and told me to reflect outside in my underwear. Huh? What kind of parent is that? Leaving such an innocent boy like this out in the middle of winter in just his underwear. Here, come closer. You're gonna freeze. Whoa, it's so warm. And something is pressing up against me. All right, let's go to May's house now that he's getting warmer. Yeah, he needs to take a hot bath. Huh? N no, it's okay. It's fine, let's go. Huh? Wait! I thought they were just trying to warm me up. Now I'm getting hot. Why are you in the corner rolling yourself up like that? Maze house. It's such a big bath. Come over here. Cuz I'm shy. <laughs> what a cutie. I'm gonna go over there if you don't come here. Whoa! 
Hello, please don't come so close. On the other hand, at Ren's house. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, Akemi. Huh? Are I supposed to be overseas right now? No, I came back because I wanted to see you, Daddy. Yeah, although it's great now that I'm back, I don't have enough money to get home. I just need some money for the bullet train and a few extra for the hotels. So, 100,000 yen. Yeah, please. Oh, really? You're the best, Daddy. Love ya. You, you got it? Yup, $200,000 in the bank. Yes, let's have sushi today. You can order as many sea urchins as you want. Yes, hello? Police, we would like to talk to you. Ever since they took me to May's house, I haven't been able to go home. Ren Chan, you're so cute. Look at how soft your cheeks are. I love this shoulder blade line. Ugh, third or fourth graders are the best. Kids younger than this are just softer and cuter, but kids in lower elementary are seriously the best. Ugh, Ugh so, so healing. healing. Uh, I um need to go home soon or else mom and dad are going to get angry. Don't you worry about that. I contacted your mom and dad, and they said they won't be able to see you for a while, so they told us to take care of you in the meantime. Yep. So from now on, you'll be living with us here. Really? Yep, we'll buy you anything you want to. Or do you not want to live with us at all? No, it's not that. I mean, you guys are really nice. And let me eat a lot of yummy food. Then it's fine, right? Here, Renkun, open up. I made your favorite, custard pudding. It's filled with delicious strawberries and cream. P pudding Here, open up. Uh, uh, uh. How is it? D delicious! Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Look at this angel. I just want to eat you. Hey, stop hogging him, May. I'm going to eat you too, ren -kun. St Stop. I haven't been able to see my mom and dad for a while, but I was really happy. May, how are you able to come up with all those lies like that? Hmm? I wonder what you're talking about. You know, when ren -kun asked about his parents. Oh, none of that was a lie. I called Ren's parents and told them that I told my father, who's in the police department, that there's a parent who are doing terrible things to their child. He said, we got sent to jail, so I need you to take care of Ren. Ren's parents were on the police's radar as the main suspects of a telephone scam group, so they were arrested just like that. I mean, what a coincidence, though. <laughs> what a coincidence. May's the last person I should mess with. May, Yuina. Let's go to bed already. I can't sleep all by myself. Aw, how precious. You know what happens to cuties like this. Ah! <laughs> ah! Hey, wait! May, stop hogging him. I want him too. My name is Mitsuru, a fourth grader in primary school. Sorry for being sudden, but something has been bothering me. That something is the color of my hair. Your hair is so weird. Why are you blonde when everyone else is black? My mom told me blonde kids have delinquent parents. Boo-hoo! Masura's mom is delinquent. It, you're wrong! My mom was always blonde and I got my hair from her. Shut up! It doesn't matter what your mom's like. It's your hair we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. When's it gonna turn back? Your blonde hair is so bright and distracting that I can't see the blackboard. Want me to color it black for you? St stop it! <laughs> hey, hold him down, guys! Leave, Leave it, it to us. us! Oh no! Oh crap! Right as I thought they were coloring my hair black! Hey, what are you kids doing? Ugh! The teacher's here! Oh, so boring. I was saved thanks to the teacher entering the class. It's not like my hair is blonde because I want it to be. A few days later. It was time for the long-awaited farming experience. A day like this would involve plowing fields with friends, harvesting potatoes, and trading snacks on the bus. It's full of fun and excitement, is what people with friends would say. What's good, everyone? Today is your long-awaited farming experience. I'm Keita, and I'll be your guide for today. The guide person seems really happy. Yo, let's play with cards. I'll get cards sick, so I'll pass. I want to play the Joker game. Wish I could play too. Hmm? Well, what's wrong? Are you not going to play with the others? No one talks to me because my hair is blonde. 
Huh? That's terrible. But I'm also blonde, you see. We're matching. Right. Do you have friends? Yep. Morobushichi, Niko-chan, and probably over a hundred more. Wow! I'm sure you'll make as many friends as I have. And I'll be your first friend. Call me Keita. Uh, I'm Mitsuru. Alrighty. So, Mitz, how'd you want to play? I brought cards, so let's play the Joker game. With two people? You're the one said to play together. And plus, it's always been my dream to play the Joker game with a friend. Alright. I can't say no if you put it that way. Isn't he getting a bit full of himself? Yep. He's acting a bit chummy with the guy. As I was playing cards with Keita-san, before I knew it, we had arrived at our destination. Wow, so this is the potato farm. I want you to harvest every potato planted in this field. I'm sure it'll be tough, but good luck. Okay. okay. Harvesting potatoes needed more strength than it seemed. Oh, I can't pull it out. Ow, the root snapped and made me flip. <laughs> You're so lame, Keita-san. Oh, did you just call me lame? Ah! As I spent time harvesting potatoes with Keita-san... Oh, I have to start prepping for the bus back. I'll head off first. Okay. Guess potato farming is almost over. Spending time with Keita-san is fun, but being alone is still lonely. Um, Mitsuru? What's wrong? Could you become friends with us? Huh? Y y you want to become friends with me? We realized how wrong we were to make fun of you based on your hair color. Seeing you act friendly with the guide person made us regret everything. Is it okay if we ask you to brush the past under the rug and play with us too? Yeah, yeah, let's be friends! Nice, then there's something we want to show you. So could you come with us? Yeah, of course! And so, I was taken into the woods beside the farm by Tatsuki-kun and the others. So, what did you want to show me? Hmm? Uh... Guys! Do it. Whoa, hey, what? Why are you doing this? Because you're acting full of yourself despite having that weird hair color. Did you really think you'd be friends with someone like you? You're such an idiot for falling for it. Don't be full of yourself just because a guy gave you attention. No way. Hey, wait. You aren't leaving me here, are you? <laughs> just keep yelling for help until someone finds you. There's no way someone's going to hear you in the middle of these woods, though. What? Wait, come back. They actually left me behind in the middle of a forest. Ah, oh, there you are. Where were you, kids? Sorry, we were in the bathroom. Was anyone else there? Nope. We're the last ones. That's good. I'm so sorry we took so long. You can get going now. All right, the bus is leaving. Meanwhile... Hello? Can anyone hear me? Please help me! What do I do? Am I just gonna be left here forever? Anyone? Hmm? You're one of the kids who came to the farming experience today. What are you doing at a place like this? People from my class tied me up and left me here. <laughs> That's terrible. It seems like everyone else has left, so you should stay at my home for now. Thank you so much! Luckily, I was found by the farmer who organized the farming experience earlier today, and was taken to her house. I'll have to go plow the field soon. Feel free to rest up here. No way! Please, let me help! Did you forget that you were tied up until just now? It's not right to push yourself. But I can't just watch you from the side when you just saved my life! I see. Then could you help me for a bit? Of course! And so, we went out to the field together. The old lady was working with me at first, but she soon left to go somewhere else. It was pretty fun when I was doing with Keita-san. Plowing alone is rough. That was when... What's up? Who? You're working pretty hard for a little kid. You mind if I help out? Uh, um... Then I'll get started on this side, so I'll leave that side to you. A mysterious lady appeared. Wh who are you? Oh, my bad. I forgot to introduce myself. You know the grandma who was here a while ago? I'm her granddaughter. Name's Allie. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, I'm Mitsuru. I was told by my grandma to come to help you. You're not used to farming, are you? Huh? Using that kind of form tires you out, and it's inefficient. Here, let me fix that. Um, uh, 
I was taught the ins and outs of plowing by Aoi-san. Alrighty, that should do it for today. I'm tired, so let's go home. Here, give me your hand. Uh, okay. Uh, there you are. I was just in the process of making dinner. I'll take a bit longer, so go ahead and take a bath while you wait. Okay. Alright, Mitsuru, raise your arms. Huh? I, I can take a bath by myself. What are you feeling shy about? Just take off your clothes. I've never been in a drum bath before, and she's way too close. I must not touch. I must not touch. <laughs> your face is bright red. Was the water too hot? M maybe. The bath wasn't the only thing that was embarrassing. Here, Mitsuru, open wide. Uh, I can eat by myself. Aw, oh, no need to hesitate. Say ah. Uh, oh. Uh. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes so good. I've never had vegetables that taste this good before. <laughs> I see, I see. Right? Grandma's vegetables are the best in the world. I'll have seconds. <laughs> eat as much as you like. What sound was that? It's rare to get a visitor in the middle of nowhere like this. I wonder who it is. I'll go take a look. Be careful, Grandma. I know, I know. Someone, help me! Wh what's wrong? Don't tell me you were also left behind by the bus. Huh? Also? M Mitsuru! It was Keita-san. It seems he got lost while preparing for the bus back. Like me, he was left behind by the bus. There were no lights, so it was so dark. My phone ran out of battery too. I was so scared. In any case, the four of us ate a wonderful dinner. The next day... Man, yesterday was hilarious. Wait, come back! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the golden boy's back after getting left in the middle of nowhere. Isn't he looking even shinier than usual? <sighs> huh? Hey, what's your problem? Say something. Oh, are you Tatsuki-kun? Who is that? I have no idea, but she's so pretty. You're right. Her limbs are so long. She's like a model. Yesterday was a blast thanks to you guys. Mitsuru and I plowed the fields, used a drum bath, and ate dinner together. Thank you so much. Here's some photos from yesterday. They look great, don't they? S seriously I'm so jealous. Wish I could take a bath with a pretty lady. The food looks great, too. Mitsuru, you're so full of yourself for getting to have so much fun. That's right. How dare you? Are you the ones who tied up and left a classmate in the woods? Huh? Oh, Mr. Principal. I need you all to come with me to the principal's office. Hey, Mitsuru, tell us more about yesterday. It was hard to talk to when Tatsuki couldn't scoot was always around. How could they tie you up in a forest? That's horrible. That should make them calm down a bit, so do you want to hang out with us? Guys, yep. Oh, uh, Aoi-san. Hmm? Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nothing. Feel free to visit her house again if you feel like it. It might be a bit far, though. Yes, I'd love to. I'll see you again. Bonus. Since then, Tatsuki-kun's group no longer made fun of Mitsuru-kun. And Mitsuru-kun has been having a great time with his newly found friends. Hmm, why do I know, you may ask? That's because... Love and peace is still the best! <laughs> You're right. Here's a photo I took last week when I visited the old lady's place. I've been so into farming since then. I'm thinking of starting an agriculture-related part-time job. Agriculture, huh? I believe there was a department in our conglomerate that dealt with that. Oh, for real? Let's all go do some farming next time! <laughs> that sounds good. Do you want to tag along, Nico? Of course! I'll gladly go anywhere and do anything so long as I'm with more Boshi-sama! Hi everyone! It's Nico! Today I was asked by more Boshi-sama to teach an art class at the Quince's school! Hmm? You're asking if I'm good at drawing? <laughs> As an A-rank housemate at Lord Boshi Conglomerate, something like this is nothing! Shall we move on to presenting each of your drawings? Okay! So Nai-chan, you're up first! I drew my pet poodle, Kuchan. Wow, Sine, you're so good at drawing! Poodles have fluffy hair, so I thought they were hard to draw, but yours looks so real! 
Not only do you have good grades, but you're also good at drawing. It all looks photorealistic. That's amazing. Hmm, <laughs> it's nothing. All right, let's move on to the next presenter. Go ahead, Chizuku chan. Um, here's mine. It's supposed to be a chihuahua. No way! A chihuahua? I thought it was some kind of monster. Why is it so pointy? Shizuku's good at studying and nothing else. Honestly, don't they know they call people like you a gloomy nerd? That's a very nice and unique drawing. Your drawing skills don't matter for how good your drawing is. Niko-sensei isn't helping. There's nothing else she could compliment. Her name is Shizuku-chan. Her grades are always high and plays her the top of the class. But it seems like art is her only weak point, and her classmates always make fun of her at every art class. I'm sure Sanae-chan just feels jealous of her, because she couldn't beat her at other subjects. In any case, Shizuku-chan's art scores are honestly quite worrying. She received a failing mark last semester, so she'll have to work hard this semester unless she wants to repeat a year. I wish there was some way to help her. <laughs> now that is a cute drawing. Maybe I should let it show just a bit more. <laughs> Julia-chan, forgive me for being such a perv. <laughs> huh? Oh, damn it. Who is it? I'm at a good part right now. Uh, Minato! Huh? Daichi? What is it? Please, I need your help. So, what happened? You know Shizuku, my cute little sister, right? My adorable Shizuku might end up repeating a year at this rate. Shizuku-chan? Repeating a year? That's gotta be a mistake. Her grades are so good that she always ends up on the ranking boards. The thing is, she ended up failing art last term, so she'll have to repeat a year if her grades don't improve this time. Oh, being bad at drawing is a part of her charm, though. Hey, come on. I know you're good at drawing. Please, teach Shizuku how to draw. Uh, really? But I've never even talked to Shizuku-chan before. I'm begging you. We're best friends, right? Ah. Okay, fine, I got it. Jeez, you have such a sister complex. The next day... I'm Shizuku. Nice to meet you. N nice to meet you. I'm Minato. Uh, she's actually here. A girl is in my house. <clears throat> um, well... I guess we should get started. Yes, please. L let's start by drawing something you like. Okay. Huh, she really is pretty now that I have a closer look. I can't believe she's Daichi's little sister. I'm done. Oh, uh, let me see. Huh? I knew she was going to be bad since she failed art class. But this goes way beyond just being bad. C could you tell me what this drawing is? It's a cat. Uh, 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 a cat? No matter how you look at it, it's some kind of monster that appears in games. And one that eats meat and deals a bunch of damage at that. I guess I really am bad at drawing. Uh, huh? No, no, of course not. Your drawing just has some unique quirks to it. Uh, anyways, everyone's bad when they've just begun, so I'm sure you'll get better with enough practice. R really? Of course. I'll start with the basics then. Thank you very much. Each day, I taught Shizuku-chan how to draw. When you're drawing a person, you first create these circles. Then you draw horizontal and vertical lines to get a feel of what the face would look like. I see. Then, you mark the position of the eyes by drawing a line here. There was no way she could immediately improve like a manga artist. But Shizuku-chan's drawings looked dramatically better compared to when she began. Well, it at least improved to the point that you could guess what she was drawing. And one day... Drawings. Okay, um, it's a mother and her child. Doesn't it look like a kid's drawing? I know, right? The heads are so big. I'll only need my left hand to draw something like that. That'll be it for today's class. Shizuku-chan, could you stay for a minute? Okay. It's true that they might not say your art is good yet, but I think it's definitely improved compared to before. Really? Yep, keep up the good work. Okay. Alright then, let's start by drawing something you like as usual. Just tell me once you're done. Okay, hmm. Um, are you into these kind of girls? Uh huh? Oh crap, I forgot that I left Pretty Girls War 3 on my desk. Y yeah, I guess. Hmm, 
I see. Oh no. Does she think I'm weird? But the cover of Pretty Girls War 3 is Julia Chan, so it could have been worse. Julia Chan is just an energetic girl with a ponytail. But if it was someone like Sherry Chan, it would have been a lot more erotic. Unbeknownst to my worries. The next day. Hello. Ah, uh, uh, come on it. Huh? Wh what? You you changed your hairstyle? Yes. <laughs> she has a ponytail? Could she be imitating Julia Chan because of yesterday? No. There's no way. What should I do today? Huh? Uh, um, right. Uh, let's start by practicing some background drawings. Shizuku-chan's art was steadily improving, but... What is this I'm feeling in my chest? The more her art improved, the more I felt strange. And then... Minato Nichan, I finished drawing Meow. Meow? What, what kind of training is this? Um, you finished? I guess I'll take a look. What are those? They're cat ears, Meow. When did you wear them? Maybe it's because she read manga while I looked at her drawings, but they seem to have an influence and made her act strange. Meow, huh? She's a good chance meows and cat ears weren't bad. And it soon became exam day. Okay, we'll be doing an art exam today. There are no regulations. You're free to draw whatever you like in a style that you prefer. You'll be given 30 minutes to draw. You'll be presenting each other's drawings like we do in every class once the time is up. You may begin. Um, the first thing to do when drawing a person is to create circles. Then you draw horizontal and vertical lines and mark the position of the eyes. You have 10 minutes left. All right, now I just have to brush up the hair. Uh, oh my, sorry about that. Sanei-chan, please don't disrupt other people during the exam. But it wasn't on purpose. My hand slipped because I was too focused on drawing. What should I do? I don't have time left. I can't fail after Minato-san took the time to teach me. What do I do? What can I draw? I don't have time left. Oh, right. I'll draw the cat girl with a ponytail that Minato-san likes. He taught me how to draw cat ears numerous times. Ten minutes later. Time's up. That's it for your exam. Now let's move on to presenting. Uh, okay. Don't tell me you're showing a drawing soaked in water. That must have made a poor drawing even more incomprehensible. Are you seriously repeating a year because of art class? That's so embarrassing. Uh, I drew a girl wearing cat ears. Huh? Huh? Wait, she looks so cute. I can tell she knew exactly how to press the right buttons. Th that's crazy. It looks so professional. Shizuku-chan, that's amazing! You've improved so much. I'm proud of you. Th that's not even something you can call art. But please, have a look at mine. My drawing! So lame. I don't know why you're trying to compete, but you're so lame. Your drawing isn't even that great. Having water dumped in your head is too lame. You're trying way too hard just to one-up someone. I just wanted... Sanei-chan, I'll have to give you a zero this time for disrupting a fellow examinee and not turning in an assignment. No way! If there's anything you can learn from this, please don't make fun of other people's artwork from now on. Art isn't about how good you are at trying. What matters is whether the artist had fun while trying. Hey, Shizuku, could you teach me how to draw like that? Teach me too! I also want to draw girls like that, but I could never get the hair right. Thank goodness. Thanks to Minato-san, the exam was a success. After school. She should be coming soon. I wonder how the exam went. Alright, she's here. Minato-san, I did great on the exam. Thanks to my teaching and her efforts, she scored a full mark on the exam. That's so great to hear! It's all thanks to you. <laughs> ah, I guess my job is finished then. Huh? After all, I'm just an art tutor who's meant to help you avoid repeating a year. But there's still so much more you could teach me. Is it okay if I ask you to continue teaching me for a while longer? Really? If you're up for it, then I'll gladly continue. Alright then, what should we start with today? Could you hold on for a second? I want to see you draw for today. Sure thing. What would you like me to draw? Um, me. Huh? Um, okay. Um, what? She's undressing? Wait, wait, wait. she's a kuchan. Uh, hold on for a sec. Why are you taking off your clothes? Because I want you to draw every part of me. Uh, every part? Oh no. 
She's gone completely insane. While well, I was thinking of what to do. Hey, Minato, listen to this. My adorable little Shizuku was... Wait, huh? Oh, why do you seem like you were just undressing? Minato, Shizuku, you bastard! Don't tell me you were trying to lay your hands on my precious little sister! Uh, no, it's a misunderstanding! Oh, wait! Uh... Yes, go ahead, go ahead. What do you mean, go ahead? There's traffic up front, so stop those cars in the back! Oh, yes, uh, sorry. Ugh, I'm so tired. Tsuyoshi Chi, you don't look too great. Are you sick or something? No, I'm fine. Okay, please move over here. Oh my goodness, I swear. Honestly, you're so funny. I lost my dad at a young age due to an illness. After that, my mom started to hang around men more often. A few years ago, my older sister even started joining in. Since then, I've had to financially support those two who waste money on men at hotels. Ever since I graduated middle school, I've been working 24-7 every single day without enrolling in high school. I'm home. You better have worked and made money today. You're the only male in our family, so we need you to make money, okay? Here, this is my paycheck for today. Ta-da! I have money now! We can hang out with you guys using this money! Hell yeah, that's great! Honestly, I'm so glad I have a brother. What should we do after this? If you don't save a little, we won't have enough for our living expenses. <laughs> Who cares about that? If we don't have enough, you should just work more. You're joking, right? How many hours do you think I'm working right now? Ugh, shut up already, you're so annoying. You're right, let's leave my stupid son and have some fun. We're, We're gonna, gonna hustle today too. too. Okay, just give us money when you get more. What the hell? Oh, I have to go to my night shift soon. I knew that my mom and sister were crazy, but there was a time when they were both kind to me. When I think about things like that, I feel like I have to work hard in place of my father. Oh, I feel like I'm about to faint. I wonder if it's because I've barely slept this entire week. I can't do this. Oh, it's a cat. He looks so weak. He looks horrible, but he's still breathing. Thank goodness. That cat reminds me of how I am at the moment. If I abandon him, he'll probably die here. Let's go home together, Moogie. I decided to adopt this cat. What is that dirty cat? Why did you bring it home? Its fur is gonna get on my clothes. Go throw it out. I'll feel bad for doing something so terrible. It's not about feeling bad or whatever. It's a cat. It won't die that easily even if you put it back out on the streets. What are you gonna do if it has some kind of disease? I'll take full responsibility to take care of it. You guys won't have to do anything, please. You better take full responsibility then. If it poops inside of the house, I'm kicking it out immediately. I'll take care of you, Mugi. You better grow up to be a healthy cat. <coughs> My life now consisted of working every day and taking care of Mugi. My mom and sister only looked at me as their source of income. But in front of Mugi, I felt like I could show my true self. Mugi was already like my real family. Here you go. I was able to make extra cash today, so here's a little treat for you. Meow. You better eat a lot and grow up into a healthy boy. Meow. Are you trying to tell me that it's delicious? <laughs> I'm glad. I swear. It's strange how you don't hate the water. It sounded like you were communicating with me earlier too. What if you're not actually a cat? Yeah. Don't do anything crazy like turn into a human one day and show up at my front door, okay? You're going to give me a heart attack. Yeah. I never had anyone to talk to, but now I spend every day talking to Mugi. A month after I brought Mugi home, Mugi became so much healthier and was even able to play around me. I'm so happy that you're better now. <laughs> Stop it! That tickles! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Suyuchi Chi! You seem a lot more cheerful recently. Did something good happen? I got a pet cat recently. Every day is so much more fun now. Right? I totally get that. Cats are so adorable. I agree. But when I got home from work... Mugi? Huh? Mugi? Where'd you go? Huh? I can't find him anywhere. Hey, did you guys see Moogie anywhere? 
That cat? His owner came by the house to pick him up. What? But... Mugi was someone else's cat? But I bet he'll be happier living with his owner again. Mugi... I wonder if he's happy and doing well. I wish I could have spent a little more time with him. Are you Siyoshi kun Uh, um, yes, I am. I finally found you. My name is Rena. I'm the owner of the cat you were taking care of. What? So you're Mugi's owner? Mugi? Uh, oh, sorry. That's what I named him. Oh, I see. His name is actually Chikuwa, but you can call him whatever you want to. Ch Chikua? What? Do you have anything to say about my naming abilities? N no I think it's a wonderful name. Right? Here's my phone number. When you're done with work, give me a call. I'll let you see Chikua. I mean, Mugi again. Really? Of course. I'll see you later then. When my work day ends, I can see Mugi again. Yes! Please, come this way. I'm heading home. Okay, I'm done with work. Uh, I want to see Mugi already. Right this moment. Um, the phone number. Where did it go? Yes, hello? Hello, this is Tsuyoshi. Thank you for giving me your contact information earlier. Oh, Tsuyoshi-kun. Are you done with work today? Good job today. Yes, thank you. I'm done. Is it okay if I go pick you up right now? Yes, that's fine. I'm already ready to leave. Okay, where should I go to get you? After that, Rena-san picked me up from work and invited me over to her house. Welcome! Thank you. Oh, Mogi! How have you been? Do you remember me? Of course he does, right Chikua? He saved your life. Meow! You saved Mogi's life after he got lost, so go ahead, enjoy the meal. Did you make all of this? Are you doubting my skills? I'm an excellent cook. Hurry and beat it before it gets cold. Uh, okay. Thank you for the food. It, it's so delicious. Nana-san, this is the most delicious thing I've ever had in my life. It makes me happy to hear you say that. siyoshi kun you really look like you're enjoying the food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, I thought I made too much, but you ate everything up. I'm so happy. Nana-san, your food was so delicious that I ate everything. Hey, siyoshi kun there was something that I've been wanting to ask you. Is it okay? Yes? It's about your older sister and mother. Oh. When I went to pick Chikuwa up, I spoke to them a little bit, but, um... Did they say something rude to you? No, no. They didn't say anything about me. They did call Chikuwa it, though. I'm so sorry. That's not something you need to apologize for, Siyoshi-kun. There were a couple of men inside the house, but they didn't seem like they were your father's or brother. Is your house always like that? Sorry if I'm being too intrusive. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's always like that at home. The reason I work without going to high school is to make money for my sister and mom to play around with boys. To play around? Why do you have to work for that money? My sister and mom pay for the hotel bills. Basically, they're making me work to raise money for them to go to hotels with men. What is that? That's so terrible. I have no words. Ever since my dad passed away, I've been working hard because I felt like it was my responsibility to financially support my family. But I think I'm starting to reach my limit. Hey, Tsuyoshi-kun. I have a suggestion. I'm actually a CEO of an oil company called Manios. What? Rena-san? You're the CEO of Manios? Yeah, but I'm actually looking for a secretary right now. What do you say? Will you be my secretary? Um, I'm thankful for the offer, but I'm not even a high school graduate, so I think I'll only be a bother. I don't know anything about being a secretary either. You won't be a bother, but I guess you do have to learn a thing or two about being a secretary. You're right. I have a good idea, though. A few days later... I is this the Motoboshi Mansion? Rena-san is friends with Motoboshi-sama, CEO of the internationally acclaimed Motoboshi Corporation? So that's that. I want you to teach Shiyoshi-kun everything there is to know about being a good secretary. Sure. If that's the case, I'll have you enrolled at my special school. Is that okay with you? I want to be enrolled in the school, but I have no money to pay for the tuition. 
you can just pay the tuition back after you start working and get financially comfortable. How's that? W really you let me do that? Then, yes, please! Just like that, I studied hard at the Moriboshi Special School without even going home. A few months later... Gosh, where's that worthless boy playing around? We can't have fun without Tsuyoshi's money! No boys are hanging out with us since we don't have money either. Everything's been terrible since he left. I'm home. Long time no see. You're finally home! Where have you been? You're honestly such a problematic son! Anyway, where's the money? I'm not coming home. I actually came here to say goodbye to you two. I'm going to be the secretary of Rena-san over here. I'm moving out of this house. Unlike you guys, Tsuyoshi-kun is extremely talented and skilled. I've decided to hire him as my secretary. You're joking, right? So that means you're gonna be paid more, right? Thank goodness! Our life is gonna be even better than normal now! Nope. The money that Tsuyoshi-kun earns is his own money. It doesn't belong to you. If you want money so badly, please go find a job and raise it on your own. Goodbye, sis. Mom. Tsuyoshi, don't say that! I'm sorry about everything! I'm really sorry, Tsuyoshi. Mom will work a little from now on, so don't go! Please! Do you regret it? Not at all. I've decided that I'm going to do what I want with my life from now on. I see. Renasan, this is today's schedule. You have a meeting at 10 a.m. and a business meal at 12. In the evening, you have an inspection scheduled at 3 p.m. And also, I remember you saying that you've been wanting to go to the hair salon sometime soon, right? I made an appointment at a salon after your business meal. The location for the salon and the inspection aren't far from each other, so you don't need to worry about being late. Please, enjoy. Thank you. You really are an excellent secretary. It's all thanks to you and Monoboshi-sama. But these things still need work. <laughs> uh, thank you. W was I a little too close? Wow. Okay, okay. We'll work hard, Chikuwa-sama. We're gonna do our best to make money for your food today, too. My name is Minoru. I'm a freshman in high school. I help out of my father's coffee shop. I guess our shop is what you'd call nowadays retro-cute. In ordinary terms, our family runs a small coffee shop that opened back in the 70s, and it's sort of back in style again. When I was in junior high, my dad was injured and could not operate the shop anymore, so he ended up doing most of the cooking and preparing drinks. As a result, I really don't have much time for studying, much less going out with friends. Well, I don't really have any friends, so I have no complaints. I suppose I did have one friend. I'm not sure I can really call her a friend. Ugh. Huh? Kana? You're so pathetic. Hey, Kana. Is he a friend of yours? He's not in the same grade as us, was he? He's a childhood friend. He's one grade below us. He has no brains, is a lousy athlete, and his face? Plain. He's like your typical run-of-the-mill dork. You had a childhood friend like that? Surprising. Not like you, Kana. Yeah, Kana. Everything about you is perfect. Perfect grades, great at sports, and to top it off, you're so cute! I heard of the guy in the next class. Nakamura has a crush on you. Oh boy. You're in for a treat. Boy, you're a big time loser. Come on, let's get going. Hey, wait up, Kana! Uh, what's with her? Treats me like crap every time you run into each other. That's Kana, my only so-called friend. Our parents were really close, so we always played together ever since kindergarten. She's like that now, but when we were kids, she was cute and down to earth. Well, although she is still pretty cute even now. I want to marry you someday. Yeah, sure thing. Okay, press your thumbprint on this note. You got it. Okay, now we're husband and wife. Yeah, we really aren't. <laughs> oh, what the hell am I doing? Recalling stuff from way back when. Hey, I'm home. Hey, Minaru. How was school? Eh, uh, okay. Hey, Dad, what are you doing behind the counter? You okay? That's bad for your back. Come on, get out of there and sit down. I'll take care of it. 
Sorry about that, Minoru. I know you want to go out and play like the other high school kids. Don't worry about it, Dad. I don't have many friends anyways. Oh, we got a customer. Come on in. Hey, what's up, everyone? Keita, here again. This is Keita, as he announced himself. <laughs> Some time back, Dr. Moroboshi treated my dad when he was injured. He's the doc's friend. Ever since then, he stops by the shop every now and again. The usual? An omelet? Yes, sir. It was plenty of ketchup. Still have some of those flags from the kitty meals left. Want me to stick one on there? Seriously? Of course! How could I refuse that? Yeah, I figured you'd say that. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Yummy! Looks scrumptious, as always. Mmm, yep. Minoru's omelet is the world's best. Can't get enough. And to top it off, <laughs> it's got a flag in it. Simply delicious. <laughs> Thanks. Omelette is about the only thing I'm good at. Oh, I was gonna ask you. That girl who was here before, uh, Kanna, I believe that was her name. What's your relationship with her? Huh? Kanna? Was she here? You didn't know? She was outside the shop the other day. Looks like she was waiting for you. Huh, really? What's up with that? Yeah, we used to be friends when we were kids. Now she just makes fun of me whenever we run into each other. So, you're the best of friends. No, nothing like that. In fact, quite the opposite. After closing time... Oh, well, that's it for today. Guess I'll read up on that cookbook, figure out some new recipes. Hey, Minaro. Hey, Mom. What's up? Could you cook up some omelets and deliver them to Kana's place? What? Again? Yeah. Kana's mother begged me for some, so... Uh, yeah, fine. I'll get on it then. Don't forget the mushrooms. Yeah, right. I won't. Coming! Huh? Why do you have to deliver them? That's my line. Why do you have to answer the door? Where's your mom? She's out right now. Here you go. The omelets your mom ordered. Mom ordered these? Ugh! She didn't have to go to all the trouble of ordering these. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. Hey, Minoru? Are you still helping out at your dad's old coffee shop? Yeah, dad's back is still giving him trouble, so... Hmm... So, that means you won't be able to study or make any friends for the foreseeable future. Is that it? Why do you care? Besides, Mom and Dad are pretty happy about it. Family is more important than studying or making friends anyways. Oh, yeah? Makes real sense. If you're all done here, get lost. Yeah, yeah. I'm on my way, little princess. Unlikable one at that. And so it went. Then one day... Oh, shoot. Not her again. Huh? What's this? She just walked right by me. Hey, Kana, what's up with you? Oh, hey, Minaru? Huh? Sure doesn't seem like the usual Kana. Hey, you look all flushed. You sure you're okay? Leave me alone. I'm fine. I don't want you worrying about me, ever. Did you get the flu or something? No. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Maybe you should go to the school infirmary. Like I said, leave. Me. Be. With that, she just walked away down the hall. I've seen her like this before. When she's like this, she can be pretty stubborn. Wonder if she's okay. Just as I thought, my worries seemed to have merit. After a while, Kanna's teacher came into our classroom. Hey, Minaru? Could you come with me for a second? Huh? Me? Yeah, sure. Ugh! During class, she suddenly lost consciousness. Her temperature was over a hundred. I can't seem to get hold of her parents either. She keeps calling out your name, saying, Minaru, Minaru, figured you were close to her. Well, we were friends when we were kids, but I guess we're like, just acquaintances now. Your homes are pretty close too, right? And luck would have it that the doctor is not in today, so... What's more, I'm super busy today, so... 
Could you take her to the hospital and then home if it's not a bother? Uh, okay. Right. I understand. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. Make sure you get her home later. No way! I don't want to go with you, Minoru. Come on, you can't be choosy in a situation like this. Can you stand? If not, I could carry you. Of course, I can't stand up. I don't need your help. Under these circumstances, we headed to the hospital. Her fever was pretty severe, so she didn't have much energy to fight back. Yeah, it's just a cold. Get enough rest and you'll be fine. But just in case, I'll prescribe some effective medicine. Thanks so much, doctor. Thank you. Well, your temperature was quite high, so it must have really tired you out. Rest up all day today, and you'll be better tomorrow. Yes, doctor. Oh, sure glad that the hospital was near the school. But going home is another matter. It's a bit further by train. I kind of feel bad taking her on the train under these circumstances. But I have no money for a taxi. You okay? Can you walk? I'm fine. Don't worry about me, would ya? Who do you think you're talking to anyways? But... Come on, let's get going. She looked so weak. I was getting concerned. Will she be okay? I had to get her home. She had to get rested. I helped her stand up and we headed onto the train. Then... Kanna suddenly vomited while getting on the train. I'm so sorry. Forget about it. I'll take care of it. You just rest. Here, I just bought this earlier. Better than not drinking anything. Thanks. There was trouble along the way, but we eventually made it home. Then, just as we were about to enter her bedroom... Ugh. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, let me rest at your place, okay? Huh? What do you mean? We're right in front of your room, for God's sake! I won't go into your room, so take me to your house! What are you saying? It's your own room! I just don't want to! And besides, it's not right that a guy would go into a lady's room. But you can't even walk without my help! Come on, stop it! You're being unreasonable! I'll get you to the bed and you can rest. No, please, don't go in. When we entered the room, I could not believe my eyes. The entire room was covered with photos of... me? Is this all me? Oh, hell. Lord have mercy. What, may I ask, is this... Just put me to bed and leave me, would you please? You've got a severely sick person here, you know. Yeah, right. Hey, would you stop gawking around a young girl's room? And hurry up and give men some of the medicine the doc gave us. Yeah. Oh, right. Here you go. Uh-huh. What's this? What? What are you all shell-shocked about? This medicine is a suppository. Suppository, huh? So? Wait one sec. Suppository means not taken by swallowing, but by way of... Oh, what was that doc thinking? Well, they say these suppository type medicine work a lot faster. Oh, well. Doctor's orders, I guess. You do it, Minaru. What? Are you nuts? How could I do that? This is a suppository. You do it yourself. No way I can do it. I'm asking you because I can't do it myself. Is that so hard to understand? I won't move an inch, so do it! You... you really can't be serious. You were walking around pretty normally a second ago, so you can. Can't you just do what a patient asks for, for God's sake? Uh, Alright. You're sure now? I held my breath and inserted the suppository. Just as the doctor said, her condition gradually got better. You seem a lot better. Want me to make you something to eat? I'm fine. You sure? <sighs> this room is really something. Those photos, man, really bring back memories. Like you. Huh? What did you say? I didn't catch that. It's all because I love you. 
I always have. Did I just hear you right? You love me? Yeah, that's right. You have any complaints? But you were always making fun of me. That was all your fault. You caused that. When we were kids, we were always together. Just because your father hurt his back. What's that got to do with us? Always helping out at the shop. Gotta help my parents. Never time to play. I even thought if I made fun of the shop, maybe you'd quit. But you seem preoccupied with helping your folks. Ever since we were kids, I always loved you. Huh? Recently, you've been making fun of me every time we met. That really hurt, you know. Minaru, really? Yeah, really. Take a look. We both love each other. Want to get married? Are you out of your mind? Ugh. Several years later, from that day forward, we started going out regularly, and we fulfilled our childhood promise of getting married. So we were finally husband and wife. Long and difficult road, wasn't it? Yeah, right. You remember that piece of paper you made, and we put our thumbprints on it? Huh? You idiot! I don't remember anything like that. <laughs> What's so funny, Minaru? Nothing. <laughs> Forget it. As a high school student, I really didn't understand it at all. I always thought she was cute and down to earth when we were kids, but, but she's way cuter now that she's so headstrong. <laughs> hey, Kanna. What now? I love you. A few days later, at the shop. Hey, hey, everyone! Another day, another Keita. Hey, everyone! Hey, Keita. Welcome. Hey, Kana. Congratulations on your marriage to Mr. Cool here. Thanks so much, Kaita. I remember you standing outside looking into the shop waiting for someone to think that Kana would marry Minoru. Huh, never even imagined it. You said you'd never mention that. Huh. She was waiting outside a shop checking me out, huh? That's right. Every time I came to the shop, I saw her looking into the shop. Probably checking you out for sure. I realize now that she wanted you to look her way. You know, notice her. Hmm, I never knew that. Hey, is that right, Kana? Were you checking me out? Huh? Come on, who gives a hoot about what happened years ago? Huh? I want to hear more about it. I'm super curious now. Come on, hurry up and go make them omelets. Hey, Keita, give me all the details later, would you? Kaida, don't listen to this schmuck. I heard that the reason why you guys started dating is because of some medicine that a doctor prescribed to you. Is that right? Wonder who the doctor was. I bet Mr. Moroboshi would know. I should ask him. <laughs> Moroboshi-sama? That tickles. But I want you to keep doing it. My name is Moroboshi. I'm the CEO of the internationally acclaimed corporation, the Moroboshi Corporation. My hobbies and interests include business, science, and being a doctor. Moroboshi-sama, you're tickling your maids again? There's a guest here to see you. Should I send him in? A guest? Sure, invite him in. Moroboshi-sama, so nice to see you. Please come in. Would you like tea or coffee? Coffee, please. Okay, Nico. Coffee for this man, please. A cup for me, too. Of course. What's your reason for coming here today? Well, it's about Emmy's tutor. Did the tutor not work this time either? Yes. This man's daughter, Emmy Chan, is a second year high school student. She goes to the Holy Mani All Girls High School, where a bunch of daughters of wealthy families are enrolled. However, her father was troubled because her grades were extremely bad. I sent out skilled tutors as per her father's request, but... The fact that her grades don't go up is that she doesn't bother to put in the effort. So in no way are the tutors bad at their jobs. In fact, your exam grades haven't changed at all. Okay, let's review the problems here that you got wrong. Where did I make a mistake? Um, let's start with part two of question one. What do you mean by let's start reviewing? My grades aren't going up because you're bad at teaching. I'm going to go outside to hang out with my friends. What? Emi-chan, wait! And just like that, she doesn't put in any effort to study. That's a problem. The tutor had his hands full with her. 
I'm so sorry. I know you went through the effort to send him to us, but... It's completely fine. At this rate, Emmy might fail her classes. I don't know what to do anymore. That isn't good. We need to come up with a plan. That guy smells bad today, as usual. How can he come to school like that? Is he not embarrassed? Ah, uh, look at his dandruff! I don't want to breathe the same air as him. My name is Atsuya. My classmates like to make fun of me, just like you saw. My father was a famous scientist. But right when I was born, he passed away due to an illness. After that, I've been living together with just my mom and lived a life of poverty. We live in an old apartment with no bathtub and had no money to go to the public bath every single day. Without being able to take baths, I gave off a bad odor and my hair was always messy. Because of that, my classmates made fun of me every single day. Doesn't that guy stink? He does. I don't think he takes baths. It's not like I don't take baths because I don't want to. <sighs> if only I had money. I've gone to a couple of job interviews so that I could find a job to support my mom and me, but I didn't even get through the interview because I smelled and had messy hair and was denied jobs immediately. If only there was a job that even I could do. We're looking for a tutor. Apply if you're interested. Working as a tutor? You look super smart. Here, take a flyer. $1,000 per hour? But if the pay is this good, I bet they'll look at my application and turn me down in seconds. You need to be able to solve this problem in order to become a tutor. I see. Huh? But won't you be able to get to the answer quickly if you start solving this here? I might be able to solve it. I'll bring this home and take my time with it. If I do this here and put in this part here... Whoa, this is definitely the answer. I did it! If you were able to find the answer to this question, please log it down below and send it to the address attached. Okay, I just need to send it to this address. All right. I hope my answer is correct. The flyer had said it was a hard problem, but it was a fairly easy problem for me to solve. Since my classmates always made fun of me, and because I had no money to go out, I was always studying. As a result, my grades were always at the top of my class, so I was confident in my answer. But I never would have guessed that the job had something to do with the Moroboshi Corporation. Tatsuya-kun, thanks for applying for the job. You were the only person who was able to solve the problem. You must be extremely smart. Really? Thank you so much! Just like it said on the flyer, we'd like you to be the tutor of this man's daughter, Emi-chan. Is that okay with you? Yes, I'm not much, but... Please! You said your name is Tatsuya-kun, right? Please, take good care of my daughter. Oh! I haven't showered, and I stink, so I shouldn't shake anyone's hand. We're talking so close to each other, so they can probably already smell me, though. Is something wrong? Are you hesitant about doing the job? It's not that. I want to work as a tutor, but I come from a poor family and can't even take baths regularly. So I'm dirty. You should probably avoid touching me if possible. That's not true. I really appreciate how you're going to take treasured time out of your day to help my daughter. Thank you so much. Yes, of course. Emmy's father tightly gripped my dirty hand and shook it. His hands were so much warmer than what I had anticipated. I'm leaving her studies up to you. Thank you so much again for accepting this job. Of course, thank you as well. I'm going to do my absolute best. Just like that, I was accepted for a job as Emmy's tutor and began working. Um, nice to meet you. Hey, my name is Emmy. Nice to meet you. Good luck then. Okay, let's start with a subject you don't like. Math, right? What kind of problems do you struggle with the most? Oh, you smell so bad. Don't come near me! Your odor is gonna rub off on me! What? What were you thinking trying to be a tutor while smelling that awful? I can't believe you! I have no words. My family's poor and- That has nothing to do with me. You better fix that smell or I don't want you inside my house. I've heard a couple of rumors, but she's more of a handful than what I imagined. I even felt fear from Emmy's unexpected straightforwardness and stubbornness. Still, I'm not going to lose. I'm going to continue this job so I can get out of poverty and go to college. I'm not backing out easily. Emmy-chan, what happens to me doesn't matter, but at this rate, you're actually going to fail. What are people going to think when a girl like you fails her classes? Ugh, you have some guts to say something like that to me. Fine, I'll give you special permission to teach me. 
Permission? But teaching you is my job as a tutor. I'm glad you understand. Sit here, and we can start with math. Tell me you have some good information. I'm not bragging, but my level of understanding is the same as an elementary schooler. If you say a hard word that I don't know, I'm going to give up. Yeah, I don't think that's something to brag about. I created some practice math problems, so try solving those first. How should I know what to do? You can't even solve this? <sighs> Didn't I tell you? I can't solve something like this with my elementary schooler brain. I made a list of math formulas, so use this formula for those problems and try to solve them. There's no point in trying to teach me. There were a bunch of other tutors that tried, but they were all useless. Come on, just solve it how I tell you to. First, you need to understand what kind of problem you're dealing with and match it up with the formula you need. Okay, fine. This math problem looks like this one, so I guess I should use this formula to solve it. Huh? I think I did it. Is this problem correct? Whoa, it's correct. Really? Yay! Are you actually a genius? I might stink, but I'm quite good with academics. What are you even saying? You're exchanging your body odor for being smart? Isn't that too much of a loss? I swear, you're so rude. Teach me some more. I understand the calculations, so how do I solve this crazy looking figure? Okay, okay. Just like that, I taught Emmy for a couple of hours. It was both a good and bad thing that Emmy had no knowledge about her lessons. Since she was starting at zero, she was quick to absorb the material. It's already time, so let's end here. Make sure you do the practice problems I gave you earlier. Hold on a minute. You're so poor that you can't even take baths, right? Yeah. Go ahead and use our bath tonight. I'm okay. Why not? I'll even teach you how to shower from step one. I told you I'm not going to take a bath. I studied just like you asked me to, Atsuya. So you better listen to what I say too. Stop it! Why are you doing this? I can't focus on studying because of how much you stink. I wanted to thank you for helping me today. I guess I'll take it if you're trying to thank me. Make sure I'm fully clean once I'm out of here. Ouch! Can you wash me nicely? Shut up! You're so dirty, so I have to scrub hard for you to be clean. Ah, ouch! I continued teaching Emmy as her tutor. Emmy started to study properly, so she was able to prevent failing her classes. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, Emmy didn't end up failing. It's all because Emmy-san worked hard. You're a really good kid. Anyways, thanks for coming to work with Emmy today again. Hey, Emmy, didn't your dad hire a tutor so that you wouldn't fail? You were able to pass the class. So is it necessary to keep calling me here to teach you? Yeah, it is. What do you mean? Atsuya, you're going to go to college, aren't you? Well, yeah. I have some money saved up now, so I plan on going. Then you have to help me study so that I can go to the same college as you, right? What? But what? Are you saying you won't? You don't want me to go to the same college as you? No, it's not that. That's completely okay, but... C come on! Hurry and start the lesson already! Can you help me with English today? I'm good at that subject, but I want to get a higher score. Yeah. What? Emmy? You don't get to decide what subject we're working on on your own. Who cares? Let me choose once in a while. Okay, okay. I got it, Princess Emmy. Seems like the days that Emmy and I spend together are going to continue. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani People here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!